What's up guys, I'm Caleb and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make the Acorns investment app actually worth it to use and I'll be sharing with you five different ways to get the most out of this platform. So let's jump right into it. So the first feature I wanted to talk about here is the roundups feature and this is the most important feature on the Acorns platform. So if I just click on the investment account here, go down to roundup settings. So the way this works is basically you hook up a bunch of your credit cards and your bank account and then every time you make a purchase it'll round up to the nearest dollar and invest the difference into your investment account. And then from there, you can set a multiplier. You can choose how much is rounded up if it's a whole dollar amount. And there's a couple of different ways that you can mess with this here. So I made this quick little chart here just to show you some hypotheticals of what you could expect based on each of these different settings. So the default, of course, is having no multiplier, just like it shows on the app. And that means that after every purchase, you will be rounding up one penny to 99 pennies, depending on how much the purchase is. So if you were to turn this multiplier on and keep it at two times, you're looking at double that amount. So we got two pennies and 198. And then if we were to set it to three times, we would get three pennies and 297. And then if you decided to go extra bold and hit the uh, 10 times option, then you're saving 10 cents to $9.90 per purchase. So for example, say you went to the store and you bought something that was $4.55. That means in order to round up to the nearest dollar, that would be another 45 cents to make it five bucks. And then it would multiply that 45 cents by either the two, the three, or the 10 times amount, unless of course you had it set to the one. So this can add up very quickly. Personally, I have always had mine set to the three times amount. I feel like 10 times is a little bit steep for me personally. I wish they really had a five times option because that would be perfect. But I realized that if I set it to the three times amount, I end up saving about 100 to $150 per month. Now this means I'm getting 100 to $150 deposited into my investment account every month on the three times setting. So if you were to have it on the two times, you're probably looking at about 80 to $100 a month. And then if you had the 10 times setting, you're looking at about 250 to $450 per month. So this all depends on, of course, how much you spend and how many cards you have linked up. So the more, the better. I personally have three different cards linked up and then I have my bank account on top of that. Now to take it a step further, we also have the whole dollar roundup feature here. So that means that if you go to the store and that item you bought was $5 even, you can choose exactly how much you wanna invest based on that amount, because obviously there's nothing to round it up to because it's an even dollar amount. So you can set it anywhere between zero cents and one dollar right there. So that means if your item is an even dollar amount, you're actually looking at a hypothetical maximum of $10 here, $3 here, $2 there, and of course, $1 there. Now to make the most of this feature, basically what you would do is you would turn on your multiplier, set it to 10 times of course, and then drag this all the way to the $1. And this will be investing the maximum possible amount of money into your investment account every month. Now moving on to the second feature here, this is the second most important part of the app in my opinion, this is the recurring investment section. Now the way this works is you basically choose a number between $5 and $500, and then you can choose the frequency of when this is invested. So your options are daily, you got weekly, which would be Monday through Friday. You could do monthly, and it only gives you the option from days one to 28 in the month, or you can just invest that on the last day of the month. So I'll just go in and show you how that looks. So right here, you can just type in your amount. Say I wanted to do $25. I'm not gonna set that because I already have mine set. And then I have mine personally set to Mondays because I'm not investing quite that much in this account at the moment. But if you wanted to do daily, you would just click that option right there. Weekly, you can choose the day of the week, of course, and then on monthly, you choose the day of the month, or you can just check that little box at the bottom that says last day of the month. Now, here's a couple of common options that you might want to set it to, and then what you could expect to be saving on a yearly basis. So up here at the top, we got the absolute minimum that you can be investing with this feature, which is $5 a month, and that comes out to about $60 a year. That's really not that great. If you uh, bump it up to $50 a month, which is more reasonable, you're looking at 600 bucks a year, and then 100 bucks a month is $1,200 a year. Now, if you wanted to take it a step further, you could do it on a weekly basis. So here is the minimum of $5 a week times 52 weeks in a year, you're looking at 260. That's still not that great. If we do $25 a week, which is what I've done a couple of times in the past, you're looking at about $1,300 a year. And then if you wanna go extra crazy and do it every single day, like what I do now, $5 a day minimum equals $150 a month or $1,825 a year. And then if you do $10 a day, of course there's 365 days in a year, so you're looking at 3,650. And then if you do $16 a day, then you're looking at 58.40 per year. And the reason why I did $16 a day is because if you do $16.4 a day into any account, that would be maxing out your Roth IRA. So I was gonna do 15, but I chose 16 
because that is the closest you can get to 6,000, which is the yearly maximum for a Roth IRA contribution. So I just wanted to throw that in. Now, something else I wanted to mention real quick is the recurring investments. You could do this for the investment account, or you can do it for the Roth IRA account right here. So it has the exact same features, it just doesn't have the roundups. And that was the other thing I was gonna say, is the roundups feature only works for the investment account and not the later account. So as you can see right here on the Roth IRA, I have mine set to $5 a day. I just decreased it from about $13 a day a few weeks ago. And I think this is one really important way to make the most out of this app because the roundups do add up. Like I said, it was about 100 to 150 bucks a month on the three times setting based on what I use. But if you really wanna to add to this account fast, I would be investing a daily amount and I would set it somewhere between five and $15 depending on what you can afford. Now, the general recommendation out there is you wanna be saving somewhere around about 15% of your annual salary into some type of retirement or a savings account like this. And so, for example, if you're making about $30,000 a year, 15% of that is about $4,500 of that 30,000. And as you can see on the iPad here, we're looking at 45,000 sitting somewhere between the $10 a day and $16 a day mark. So I'd probably set it to about $12 a day in that case. So the roundups and the recurring investment feature in this platform are probably the top features you wanna be using if you wanna make the most out of this. But there is another one that you can get into and this is the uh, one-time investment. So this is another feature it has and you can just invest any amount that you want as long as it's uh, $5 or more and you can do this at any point in the year no matter what other settings you have set up. Personally, I don't do this a whole lot because I'm already investing on a daily basis and any time that I want to invest a giant chunk, I'll just integrate that into my daily investments by turning the daily amount up a couple dollars. But one thing I did wanna show you is an effective strategy that I would probably be using if I were to invest a lump sum like this. So let me just pull up the iPad. So this is a, a diagram of the VOO index from Weeble, and this is the exact index that a lot of your Acorns investments will be going into. It's about 55% on the most aggressive portfolio. So I basically just wanted to show you kind of what I do with that. So if I'm gonna be investing on a lump sum basis, what I'm gonna be trying to do is invest when I am able to get more shares for every dollar. So as you can see, like at these different points along the line here, what I'm doing is if I were to invest at the bottom of each of those spikes, then I would effectively be getting more value for every dollar spent. And then especially right here where it drops below this red line that you can see, if I were to turn up my daily amount at this point as well and invest a lump sum, then I can really capitalize on the fact that I'm able to get the same shares for a cheaper price. Now you may be wondering like, Caleb, I've never seen these charts before. Like I don't use Weeble. How do I know when to invest? Well, here is what it looks like on the actual Acorns platform. So as you can see, this is the exact same graph. And I just pulled a screenshot of what the year chart looks like for VOO. And then I pulled the six month chart for the same index as well. So like I said, this is where the majority of your funds are gonna be going into. So as you can see, we got that little W shape right up there. I'll just zoom in a little bit so you can see. And we have that same W shape right down here. And then this giant catastrophic drop <laughs> right up there. You can also see that same dip right over there. So that's where I would turn my daily amount up a couple bucks and maybe invest an extra lump sum on top of that if I wanted to. And then as you can see on the six month one, it's a little bit easier to see on this one, but I just highlighted the three different purple ones that correspond with these little spikes up here. And then of course you get a much better idea of what that catastrophic drop looked like on the six month chart. So as you can see, the spikes are very similar to what is showing on the Weeble chart. So let me just show you real quickly how to navigate to this on your Acorns platform. So you'll just click one of your investment or later accounts like this. You'll scroll down to the performance section and then you click account value breakdown at the bottom and then you click large company stocks because this is where most of your funds are gonna be going into. And now it shows that exact same chart and then you can just click back and forth on the six month or the one year option. And if it looks like the current day that it is, is at one of these you know, down slopes, that's when I would be investing a little bit more. So as of right now, it's a little high, so I probably wouldn't be doing that but that's pretty much how that works. I wouldn't pay a whole lot of attention to the daily, the weekly, or the monthly options because those don't really give you enough data. The lines on this chart are really like rounded off and they're not terribly accurate. But you can kind of see on the six month one, there is some very clear spikes down there and you could just be investing at the bottom of each of those if you wanted to add some more on top of what you're already doing. Now, the fourth thing I wanted to show you is the Acorns Earn section. So if you just click on Earn More Money right down there, this is very similar to the Honey extension on your browser. 
And so basically what this is, is you can go and shop with these different companies and then you'll get a certain amount of your purchase invested into your account. So say for example, I was feeling a little hungry and I wanted to buy something off of DoorDash here. So then what I would do is I would just click order now right there at the bottom and then I would you know fill out my order and get it delivered and it would invest $5 into my Acorns Invest account. Now $5 doesn't seem like a whole lot, but there is some options that are a lot more than that. So right here you can see there's a $36 one. If I spent something at Green Chef, they would invest $36 into my investment account. And then they also have some options that are a percentage instead of a dollar amount. So right here, for example, me undies, it looks like they would invest 20% of my purchase into my investment account. And this type of stuff isn't nearly as effective as the roundups and the recurring investment features, but it does add up over time, especially if you're making the most of it and really trying to go through this list every time you wanna buy something online, for example. I haven't used it a whole lot, but as you can see down here, most of my earned rewards are just from getting gas at the gas station. I was able to get 25 cents for every $20 I spent at the gas station. So that added all the way up to about $16. And then I have this $12 one pending that I wanted to explain to you. So the way I got this massive $12 reward that you can see at the top there is I basically bought concert tickets. So these were $200 a piece, I bought two of them. And what I did is I took my Discover card that has a 5% cash back if I use PayPal option. And I was able to not only get $20 back on that purchase, but then I used the Acorns Chrome extension to also get a percentage of that back into my investment account. So let me give you a quick example of what the Chrome extension actually looks like and how it works. So let me switch over to my desktop here. So I'm on the Joann's website. My girlfriend really likes to crochet and say I wanna buy her some yarn for Christmas. So what I would do is I would add a bunch of stuff to my cart and then right here at the top, you click the little acorns earn icon and then it says right there, get up to 0.4% of my purchase invested. So if I were to spend $100, then that would invest about 40 cents. That's not a whole lot. This isn't the best example, but you would just click that. And then after it processes for a second, then it'll say offer activated. And now you can go into the store and buy whatever you want. You don't need any extra codes or anything. And then on top of that, you can still use the Honey Chrome extension to add coupon codes on top of that. So if you're able to leverage not only the Acorns Earn rewards, but the Honey Chrome extension rewards, and also if you have any credit card cashback rewards, you can really leverage this a lot and get the money that you're getting back to add up pretty quickly. Now, like I said, I don't use this feature a whole lot, but there is a lot of different options on here, as you can see. So if I just keep scrolling down, I mean, there's a ton of companies here and you can just look like food and groceries. we got Grubhub, HelloFresh. We got EveryPlate, DoorDash. And then you can also search what you want down here too. So I'll just type in Apple, say that I wanna maybe look at some Apple products. I'll click on that and it says that it'll invest 1.5% into my investment account. Of course, there are some exclusions here. Like right here, it says it's not valid on the iPhone 13 and then it's only eligible for up to five units and stuff like that. So you do wanna check the fine print, but this is a really cool feature. And like I said, if you use this like crazy, you can really get a lot back from it. Now, the fifth thing I wanted to mention is just a couple of key tips here to really get the most out of this platform. So I'd say the first thing here is one, you need to be consistent about your investments. You need to be sticking with this and investing consistently and not just here and there. So if you're thinking about investing and you only put like a couple hundred bucks in in February, for example, and you don't invest at all by the end of the year, you're really not making a whole lot out of this platform. It's really important to invest often and consistently Consistently, and you can always invest more often with smaller amounts as well, like I showed you with the daily option. So that is the first pointer. The second pointer is you want to be focused on the long term growth of this account. So this isn't something that you just put money into for like a rainy day fund or saving up for large purchases. This is really used for investing long term, say like 5, 10, 20 years. And so any money you put into this account, you really want to leave it there and just not really worry about it too much. Don't get into the habit of checking your performance on a daily basis and also don't get upset if it looks like you're losing money for you know a couple of months at a time because that's completely normal to happen. Don't worry about any short-term losses, just focus on the long-term aspect of this account and you'll be totally good. Now the third thing I wanted to mention here is do not touch your money in this account. So especially if you're on the Roth, you really can't be touching this until you're 59 and a half. But even so with the investment account, any money you put into this, you probably want to do your best to just not touch it and just let it be. Now, if you wanna be putting money on the side, but you do wanna have the option to touch it, I probably would not be recommending Acorns as the platform to use for this. But if you're okay with putting money aside and you're down to not touch it for a very long time, 
then I would definitely be using the investment account and especially the later account for your retirement account. And those are definitely the three key things that I would mention. So those are the five ways to get the most out of this Acorns account. If you found value in today's video, please drop a like down below. And if you wanna see more weekly content just like this, please hit that big fat red subscribe button down below with a little notification bell next to it. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.